The Apuan coasts, famous throughout the world for their unique landscape features, such as the gentle valleys of the coast spanning the Apuan Alps, are an authentic refuge for the spirit. Hotels and hostels, country cottages and bed and breakfast. A large area of coastal camping offer the widest choice for a vacation at any time of the year. In less than 10 kilometers, nature offers the richest variety of landscapes, both to please those who love the sea and water sports as the lovers of hills and mountains. But in this region, which is so rich in history, it will also be interesting to explore routes that tell and preserve the testimony of the past, that narrate a land so rich in events. One perfect example is Via Vandelli, named after the engineer who designed it in 1741. It was built by the Duke of Modena, Francesco of Este III, when his son Hector was united in marriage with Maria Teresa Cibo Malaspina. The Principality of Modena acquired this important and strategic access to the sea for inland areas and Via Vandelli was essential for all communications. The proximity to the sea does not prevent large snowfalls and skiing in the ski resort of Zumziri during the winter months. This district, also well known for trekking in the summer, it is easily accessible and is the ideal place for skiers on their first experience. The hinterland offers the opportunity of a real dip in the itineraries of history. Small villages, characteristic mountain communities, sometimes reachable only by foot, are the symbol of adaptability compared with the good-naturedness and roughness of the territory. The more distant past is illustrated by stone statues, stone artifacts dating back to the late Stone Age, and that can still be seen inside the castle of Pianiaro in Pontremoli. This fortress is testimony to the past history of the territory mainstay of wars, medieval settlements, and destination of pilgrims who regularly rested along the Via Francigena. The St. Peter's Maze, which is located in its namesake church, is the symbol of the commitment and sacrifice of human beings in the tortuous path that leads to peace in their faith. Run, then, for victory. This is the famous phrase, written in Latin, which urged the pilgrims to seek their inner strength to reach the goal that was either Rome or the Holy Sepulchre. The Cathedral of Pontremoli is also very fascinating. Inside, you can admire the Baroque-style architecture and remarkable paintings of the 18th century, among which are those dedicated to the Virgin Mary of the Presbytery, and those on the vault of the nave, made by Francesco Natali, who was the artist of the frescoes in the chapel inside St. Francis Church. Here we also find a Renaissance altar and a work by Agostino di Duccio, a bas-relief marble statue from the 15th century, depicting a Virgin Mary with black eyes and baby Jesus. Pontremoli, home of the Stall Award, is also considered as the city of the book, but the city that hosted the first publisher is Fivizzano, the lost pearl in the mountains, as described by the poet Joshua Carducci. It is home to the Museum of Printing, dedicated to Jacopo from Fivizzano, who in 1471 opened one of the first printing shops in Europe. Also, one characteristic of Fivizzano is the traditional cuisine, with typical dishes and characteristic foods that can be enjoyed in traditional festivities of the area. 
We fly up to Carrara, a city of marble and Renaissance art par excellence, where it is easy to rediscover the passions of knowledge handed down from generation to generation. The famous Academy of Fine Arts is housed in what was the Palazzo Ducale Cibo Malaspina. It was Elisa Bonaparte Baiocchi in 1806 to turn it into the headquarters of the Ducal Art Academy of Carrara. Canova, who stayed permanently in Carrara, was one of the Academy's most famous teachers. In the Fantiscriti Cori Museum, home to a variety of tours and schools, you can retrace the life of the miners, know their tools, relive their labours and their social status. Great tribute to the sculptural tradition is offered by the International Sculpture Biennial of Carrara since 1957, during which the works of famous artists are exposed through the streets of the old town. The opportunities to visit ancient palaces and art exhibitions are certainly not lacking. A great masterpiece is the Cathedral of St. Andrew, both on the outside with the magnificent rose window and on the inside, with a massive length of 33 meters, expressing all its majesty. In Massa, a small town at the foot of the Apuan Alps that stretches a few kilometers between sea and mountains, we find the great Malaspina Castle, now home to cultural activities and various events. Everything seems instilled with evocative magic. The castle was the home of the illustrious family of Malaspina since 1164, when the emperor Frederick Barbarossa gave a section of Obizzo Malaspina. In the heart of Massa, we find Piazza Aranci, which takes its name from the rows of orange trees planted in the early 19th century. The sumptuous overlooking palace is the Ducal Palace, which was built in 1500. Not far away is the Cathedral of Massa, with its white marble and its characteristic staircase. Massa is also synonymous with marble. Since the days of the great Julius Caesar, it was searched for in these territories for the construction of important churches, historic houses, and public Roman buildings. The marble blocks were initially squared out and then transported from the quarry to the valley. This method, called litzatura, is traditionally commemorated every year in a town festival where they celebrate all stages of this exhausting yet ingenious system. Montignoso is an oasis of well-being immersed in nature. 
since the 19th century, frequented by famous names in politics and culture, which stayed at Villa Schiff Giorgini. Tourism has greatly increased thanks to the beautiful beaches and the development of the marina. The meaning of health resort for Montignoso is even more enhanced by the healthcare services and spa at Villa Undulna Terme. Housed in an elegant hotel overlooking the sea, it offers moments of truly unique well-being and wellness. The center has natural mineral and salt thermal waters. There are numerous therapeutic approaches, both in the pool and in the hot tubs, to treat cardiovascular problems. Here, your vacation turns into a profoundly rejuvenating anti-stress experience with relaxing herbal teas that can be enjoyed comfortably lying in special relaxation areas. The use of more natural products offered by the region, such as peat, allows the provision of specific cosmetic lines. Peat is an organic substance with many virtues, formed about 3,000 years ago in Lake Massachusetts. The constant presence of medical specialists allows a design of customized programs for every need. The bio-natural disciplines, which are complementary to the well-being and health, offer complete services for the visitor and make rejuvenating visits in Massa Carrara. Water, considered as sacred in ancient cultures, activator of vital energy in the oriental theory of Feng Shui, is a source of life and an essential tool for a variety of sports and recreational activities. Families also have the opportunity to enjoy snorkeling, to enjoy the seabed, or just stay in total relaxation by the sea, waiting to taste the magic of a sunset like no other at the sound of breaking waves. In the inland valleys and the Apuan Alps, not yet contaminated by the distress caused by urban areas, it is not uncommon to hear the gurgle of a stream or run into unexpected glimpses of paradise with waterfalls where sport fishing is practiced even in the relaxed tranquility of this environment. Even horseback riding immersed in the green can be relaxing. Trips that are suitable for all ages, experiences to find quiet and spend magical moments for yourself and your family. Just like treasure chests, the Apuans preserve the purest and most authentic part of secular baggage of history, nature and culture, where culinary traditions mingle with those of Tuscany, Liguria and Emilia-Romagna. Many farm hostels combine tourism and living in the countryside with all the comforts, making them a prerogative.
The smaller farmers have maintained the cult of authenticity while keeping pace with the larger modern farmers. Priorities in this area tend to be the breeding and cultivation of organic products. There are numerous opportunities to meet local producers and appreciate their delicacy. The agricultural vocations of this territory, the typical cuisine, natural product, are enhanced by the services of leisure and sports. Contact with animals is a further aspect of the authenticity of rural life. Farmers working in these structures make them places where everyone can find the real taste of life. The close proximity between the sea and the Apuan Alps has fostered a very peculiar microclimate, very mild. This has allowed the development of scenic vineyards on terraces that allow the province to boast another distinction, their wine. Even the area surrounding Montignoso, with its sunny hills, is characterized by wine production. The label Indicazione Geografica Tipica, IGT, Costa Toscana, qualifies its source. This is used for Monte Pepe wines, that are put on the market after years of aging in subterranean structures. The constant and meticulous cultivation of the vineyards and the meticulous attention to all stages of production are rewarded by a quality product that is appreciated by wine experts from around the world. The Candia dei Colli Apuani is produced by about 300 vineyards extended in the areas of Massa Carrara and Montignoso and has the DOC label that guarantees its quality. The viticulture of Massa Carrara dates back at least to 200 BC and it is in those years that the street of Vina dei Colli di Candia e Lunigiana was built. Another typical product is honey, especially the chestnut, which is rich in nutrients useful to treat anemia and health problems related to circulation. Acacia honey is precious as well and suitable for children and diabetics because it's rich in fructose. Beekeeping is practiced in Pontremoli since 1508. We cannot skip our attention to Colonata, an ancient town of miners that made Italy famous all over the world for its excellent food and the production of lard. In Colonata, purged villages are raised and tradition is handed down from generation to generation. The characteristic product has ancient origins. This territory, thanks to the presence of chestnut trees, has made possible the development of pig farming. And soon after, the specialization in the processing of the meat, which includes lard. Today, the procedure for its production, although it has evolved, follows the same steps and processing times than before. The lard of Colonata is recognized as a PGI, protected geographical indication.
production of sausages in the Massa Carrara area is carried out by companies able to combine the tradition of local processing to modern industrial structures, necessary to satisfy an increasingly large customer base and continuous growing demand. The extraction of marble has ancient origins, but only in the late 19th century it has seen remarkable development. Marble blocks were transferred from the quarries to the port of Marina di Carrara via the marble railway with 22 kilometers of tracks. Over the years, the extraction and processing of marble have made remarkable progress, making Carrara a leader in the world. Technological development and advanced machinery, such as the robotic island for marble processing, have been sufficient to meet the varied international commercial demand. The presence of skilled workers draws the attention of many artists. Every year, work orders from all over the world are assigned to local laboratories, rewarding the quality of Apuan companies. This prestige is confirmed in Nicoli Laboratories, very active in the creation of sculptures for the biggest names in art since the late 19th century. From ancient workings, rudimentary, requiring very long execution times, they have moved over 2,000 years to modern techniques. It was at the end of the 19th century that they began to recourse to industrial plants up to the modern excavation of marble. This technique can be observed in its evolution in the path offered by the Museum of Marble of Carrara. The stone industry is very well represented by Internationale Marchi e Macchine SPA, which offers consulting services and manages other companies like Carrara Fiere, responsible for managing an exhibition in an area of 95,000 square meters. There are numerous exhibitions organized in various sectors, including commercial, industrial and artisan. Events related to stone industry are among the best known in the international arena and attract visitors from around the world. The competition in the international arena, especially from the East, has led local businesses to seek ever higher levels of efficiency and innovative processes.
Important trade associations promote entrepreneurs and their products in the international showground. The whole industry, tied by design and manufacture of machines for the marble processing, but not only, is in full development. The knowledge and experience gained over the decades has borne their fruit and confirmed the leadership of the local companies that are able to meet orders from all over the world. Huge investments are employed for the renewal of production machinery. The latest training of technical and managerial personnel has become indispensable in order to maintain a high standard of quality. General Electric boasts one of its best industrial complexes for the production of gas and steam turbines, right in Massa Carrara. Even the shipbuilding industry today sees a remarkable development thanks to modern technology and construction techniques with innovative materials. Important quality certifications ensure that companies implement suitable processes and verifications. Modern technology and skilled workers confirm the AP1 product excellence in the international market. Massa Carrara is a province waiting to be discovered, able to combine the needs of the current tourist demand with the history and tradition of the territory. Roads, trains and airports make it possible to easily access the Apuan towns and cities. The sea and the attractions of the coast Join the unspoiled natural environments of the Apuan Alps and the hinterland, offering a unique landscape that is very much worth visiting. At Massa Carrara, the mountain meets the sea within tourism and productive activity.